Right, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we had some flooding at the bottom half of this field, right up against the A1 here. Um, and you can see an area here which has had standing water on it for a considerable period of time. We, uh, we were flooded um, three times, um, uh, drained off each time, but of course it, each time it flooded, we got more and more separation of silt from the um, seabed uh, in the soil. Um, and the next time it flooded, it was even slower draining through. This is typical of a lot of situations in a lot of fields that will need to be addressed in 2013. Um, and again, it's very, very easy to assume that this is wet and stood in water because there's a problem uh, with the subsoil. Whilst I'm not going to dig down to the subsoil today, uh, what I would do is just stick my trowel in here just for a quick inspection. One, you can see the trowel sits, it sinks into the soil extremely easily. Uh, and if I open up an area of soil, one, I can straight away see that it's absolutely teeming with worms still. And what we can also see is that there's plenty of worm, worm burrow still within this soil. The soil's in nice crumbly condition. Again, just like we were looking at with uh, the question as, as to why has wheat not established in this soil uh, or this seabed compared to the seabed right the other side of the sticks. Um, and it's, it's all to do with the root exudate again. But the key issue here is, is this soil damaged and what do I need to do to rectify it? And if we look very closely at this soil, we can actually see that the constant rainfall has actually created a little bit of a cap here. It's washed the silt element out of that soil and created this very thin crust, which has been largely impermeable to water because it's capped on the top to constant water on it. But actually with that taken off, there's absolutely very little wrong with the soil immediately below it. It's full of worms, full of worm burrows, full of drainage slots and holes for it to run through. And the last thing we will want to do for our cropping in 2014 is stick deep working tines into this soil which will be wet at depths where we are likely to cause more harm than good. Now during the summer on our open days or during May, the last week of May on our open days here, we'll have several open soil inspection pits so that we can check these soils right down to significant depths uh, and then we can discuss with you the sort of management that will need to be put in place. Um, but at the moment, I'm pretty confident that deep working of these soils is actually not required. In fact, the only thing we really need to do is just manage this crust to get the air back into the soil and warmth back into the soil and let it breathe a little bit. So we'll be discussing that during our open days in May.